Hey guys, I just wanted to kind of share with you um, a little bit about protein. I've had some questions about um, where to find protein if you don't eat meat, um, what are good sources, why is it important, and so I just kind of want to go over that with you a little bit. Um, protein is, is, the, is what repairs the body. The body doesn't make protein, and so if you're not getting it from outside sources, your body's going to have a hard time repairing those tissues and everything everywhere. So protein's important. Um, you need about 0.8 grams um, per kilogram of body weight. So you need to like move your, you know, transfer your weight from pounds into kilograms and times that times 0.8 and that will give you how much, how many uh, grams you need a day. Um, be sure that you're doing protein with snacks and with meals because it's what helps your food slow down the process of digestion and metabolizing that food so that you're fuller longer um, you're not just starving all the time because the people that don't eat a, enough enough protein they're hungry all day because those carbs get used up really really fast for energy you know and protein kind of slows that down a little bit um, I just, I just want to kind of go over with y'all uh, what has protein in it, what, you know, what are good sources so that you, um, so that you know, so you can incorporate it into your diet and just be sure you're getting enough. Also, you don't want to take in too much protein because it can bulk you up. Um, it does store as fat, so you want to be careful with that. Um, the excess, whatever's not used to repair your body. Um, of course, you can get good amounts of protein from, um, from meat, you know, from chicken, turkey, uh, beef, pork, fish, you know, seafoods. Um, I personally don't eat meat. That's just, that's just my own personal preference. Um, but I'm going to show you the things I do eat and other sources of, you know, that you can get protein from. Uh, of course, beans and legumes are great. Or they're a huge part of my diet. Um, I like lentils. Uh, of course, pinto beans and black beans. Um, I like I like to mix in like corn and like cilantro and like um, tomatoes in, in with my beans and give me a little bit of, of, of vegetables, you know. And um, and then sometimes I'll even mix in um, light like low fat cream cheese and oh that's so good. Um, and then let's see, cheese. Dairy products are a good source if you if you're not a vegan, you know, and you're still eating, you know, some animal products. Uh, yogurt has like five grams of um, of protein, so it's pretty good for this tiny little thing. Five grams, you know, and you're only getting it's only 70 calories. We like the Activia Light. It just has good flavor and and it's still low in calories, you know. It's not really high in calories. Some of those yogurts you have to be careful with because they're high in sugar and they're high in calories. So we don't do a lot of sugar here, and we try to, you know take in good calories. Uh, cheese, of course. My kids like the, the Colby Jack, and we just buy our local, you know, grocery store brand. Um, and you gotta be careful with cheese, though, because it can be high in fat. So um, you wanna make sure that you're measuring it out. You know, you're getting six grams of protein, you know, with, with an, an, an ounce. So that's pretty good. Um, of course, Shakeology. It's a big one of mine. I, I drink it every day. Um, you get about 15 grams of protein per serving. So, um, you know, it's a good amount. Plus, plus it's great. If you're not drinking Shakeology, you're crazy. Um, protein powder. Sometimes if I, if I think, oh, you know, I need some more protein today, I'll add in a little bit of protein powder with my, into my shake. Um, or, you know, make your own shake. Make your own protein shake. You know, mix in some stuff and put some protein powder. Um, Beachbody has a great protein powder too, by the way. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, P90X bars are really good and they are packed full of protein. So I don't, I don't have any because my husband keeps eating them. Anyways, um, our shipment hasn't got here yet. So, um, check those out. Oh, I'm sure you can see my Ninja back over here. It's a brand new one. And if you've been reading my tweets and posts, you know that I've already been through one Ninja two magic bullets in the past like, I don't know, four or five months. Because Shakeology. We blend a lot of Shakeologies here. Um, anyways, you can do peanut butter. I, I buy the better than peanut butter. It's lower in fat and lower in calories. 
and it's really good too. It's good in Shakeology. Um, you can do nut mixes. Be sure you measure them out though because you can eat half this bag and you just ate 500 calories. So you want to watch out for that. You can watch my other video about measuring and weighing your food. Um, of course, you know, pecans. Um, any kind of nuts are good. Seeds, like sunflower seeds, you know, not the ones that are loaded, covered with salt and all that, but the plain ones are good for you. Um, and then, oh, my, my, my local health food store had this, and it's called Fit Nuts. And I think there's another one uh, that some of the girls are using, uh, Bell Plantation. And it's just ground up peanuts. It's like peanut powder. Um, and it's, it's good too. And you can mix it in with shakes or like they say on here, um, you can use it in recipes and topping as toppings, as flavoring, uh, in shakes. So, and it's, it's lower in calories too. Plus it's pure. It's not, you know, I mean, it's just like peanuts, you know, there's no, there's no added stuff like you get when you get peanut butter. Um, anyways, I just, I, like I said, I've had some questions about, you know, where to get peanut butter. I mean, peanut butter, <laughs> where to get protein. You can tell what I like. I, I'm a peanut butter addict. Um, and so I wanted to share with you what I do and, and your other options besides, you know, meat products. If you're not wanting to eat that, or if you're just looking for some non meatless proteins, you know? So, um, anyways, I hope that was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, or comments, uh, let me know. Um, I'll be more than willing to help you out and help you figure out some some protein ideas for you. Um, I think that's it. Thanks, guys.